Hello everyone, welcome to the seventh Excel tutorial. Uh, today's topic is formatting. I'm going to show you how you can make any chart look presentable in a few minutes by using predefined styles in Excel. They're all located up here under the Styles section in the Home tab. There are um, you know, over a dozen different types of uh, styles that are set up here that you can use. Uh, as you can see, if you hover over any of these, it gives you a little preview in the cell here what it will look like before you even click on it. So we will practice with some of these and I'll show you how to make this look presentable. If you have something that needs to be, that you need to submit to your boss in a few minutes and you don't have time to look at, make it look pretty, you can either wing it or you can you can do it manually which may take you much longer or you can just follow this and it'll take you a very short amount of time to get this done. So let's see how long it takes me to do this. So this is just dummy text. This is just a dummy table. This means nothing. The numbers mean nothing. So let's tackle this. Uh, remember, if you should have uh, watched my auto sum video. I'll just quickly do auto sum on all of these total columns and total rows just to get the total value for all of them. And remember, auto fill, right? There we go. This is the value. So again, these numbers mean nothing. So the college mom, the first thing you want to look at is your title. Titles in HR should be centered, should be bigger, should be more prominent, right? So let's merge and center this into the six columns that we have here. I explained this in my first video where I went over alignment. So we click on merge and center and it merges all of these cells. So B1, C1, D1, E1, F1 no longer exists. So you have A1 and you have G1. So it merged and center all of this. That's one. Now let's look at the predefined cell styles here. We have a titles and headings section here. We have heading 1, heading 2, 3, 4, title and total. So we already have one for title, right? So just if you have a few minutes, just click on title and it already looks much bigger. It's using Calibri Lite, you know, font size is 18. You can mess with this later on if you want. Now let's look at the column headers. We have departments January through April and total. We can use one of these headings. Heading 1 looks too big. Heading 2 looks okay, but it's still too little thick. So let's stick with heading 3. Right now, all of these are in like a navy blue kind of color. Uh, you can change those later on, but this is just for quick formatting. Now let's look at the row headers here. We will click heading 4. Right? There's no underline here. There's no cell border at the bottom. And it looks, and it's thick and bolded, and it looks pretty good. Right? It already looks much better than it did before, something that you can print and give to your boss. But, see, if you're working with money, you want to make all of this look like money, right? You need to have the dollar sign in front of them. There are two types of current, two types of dollar sign values that you can put in front of this. There's currency and there's accounting. Uh, under the number value here, under the number section here in the home tab, you have a dollar sign here. This is the accounting number format. So if you click on this, you select all of your cells, it will put dollar sign and a dot zero zero at the end of it. We get this because the cell is too, the column is too narrow. So you can either double click or you can click and drag to change the width of the column by hovering your mouse to the right of the column header and once you get this little double-sided arrow mouse cursor you can you can you can change the width. And if you double click it auto sizes. But anyway this is one way to do the dollar sign. The other way is the currency here under the drop down list here. The difference between the currency and the accounting is that the currency puts the dollar sign right next to the numbers, whereas accounting puts it to the very left. Right? There we go. See, it already looks much better, but we have too many dot zero zero, too many cent values. We don't want that because it looks ugly. So under the numbering format, there's another shortcut here. If you hover your mouse over, you have increase decimal here and decrease decimal. So if you click on decrease decimal twice, it gets rid of the decimal places that the the two dot zero zeros. So it already looks a lot better than it did before. It's more readable. There's more room to read. You don't have to focus on the sense. And now you can narrow the the cell styles even more. Let's do this. There we go. See, it already looks a lot better, and it took you just a few minutes. I it takes me a lot longer to explain. 
So the reason I'm highlighting the total value here is that if you remember in the cell styles in one of the predefined headers, there's a total section. So if you click on total, it formats it completely differently. It makes everything bold. Uh, the total goes black, and it gives a cool cell border on the top and the bottom of the entire row. We won't touch this ones yet. Let's make these numbers pop a little bit more. We'll put an, an accent green on it. We'll put 20% accent. Green means good. Green means money. So, you know, there you go. Green. It looks much better. For the total here, let's do a gray accent. Well, there you go. Look at this. Compare this to what you saw a few minutes ago. Just the black and white text and to this. This is something that you can print and take to your boss. Right? Well, I said you can also customize this the way you like. Let's say you want this to be bold. You can. Let's say you want it to be green. You can. Green doesn't look as good with the rest of it unless you change the rest of the colors, right? Next time I'll show you how to quickly edit some of this and save your own styles as a custom style in Excel. You don't always have to go with what's predefined here. You can create your own. And I'll show you how to do that two minutes or less left next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, if I was unclear on anything, uh, let me know. I will be using this little chart here uh, a little bit more for some future tutorials. Uh, I'll try to post this on my website as well. Remember to visit the website at easyprogramming.net. Um, and remember to subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you very much.